Okay, I know it's a long video, but there's puppies and deer at the end. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Um, today is YouTube nail stamping art collab day. And as I'm speaking to you, um, the theme is ladybugs and May nail design is hosting. And there's one crawling on my desk as I'm trying to paint my nails. There it is. Icky, icky, icky. They're not ladybugs. They're ladybug wannabes. They stink and they're everywhere. I can't stand them. This one's covered in dust. There's no telling how long it's been in my room. I'm afraid it's gonna fly in my face at any minute. So what I am putting on my nails right now, this is one coat and this is Earth or Paradise. And if you guys have noticed, I'm really into color change <laughs> chameleon polish right now. And this one is so cool. It is a dark green, um, oh yeah, eh, medium green, cold. And it has all this beautiful gold sparkly shimmer in it. And there's two coats. Why the heck did I paint my ring finger first? It's super pretty. All right, so the plate I'm gonna be using is Creative Shop 83. And then I have a bit of a review for you. Uh, so they got these at Walmart. And it's a queen stamper, a transparent mess free. I don't know how that's mess free, but whatever. <laughs> High definition, extra placement. misplacement proof stamper Ooh. and it has a one of this used to be my favorite scraper actually because it's small in the shape of it okay so here's the scraper and I actually do love these they're the perfect they're not too stiff they're not too flexible I do love the scraper and the stamper so this one is a little bit like textured frosted almost on the sides it does have a lid that is completely free of touching the head so you can do a stamp uh, a decal and leave it on there to dry and stay fresh um, and also the bottom pops out uh, like a soap so if you do get you know your your bottom screwed up um, probably what I will do is not have the bottom on there while I'm stamping because I will end up goobering it and ruining it so um, let me show you this one I've had this one for a really long time well let's just say a couple years um, I feel like this is the same exact thing. Um, it is a little bit different. I mean, it's smooth. There's not there's not a ridge on the new one, um, but the bottom did not pop out, and it does have scratches, so it's not real super clear anymore. I have scratched it up. I have lost the lid. I think it had a lid. The stamper head was not near this sticky. This one is super sticky. But I love this. I did end up tearing. No, this is the head that I always use to shrink. The big <laughs> clear one I wasn't supposed to use to shrink because I did have a couple of dents in it. But this is super squishy and extremely sticky for a clear stamper head. So that is awesome. So the plate I'm going to be using is Creative Shop 83 and it has some layering um, ladybug on it. And I think I have some other ladybug plates, but I can't for the life of me find them now. But you can see this has a few layering pieces on it and you can see there's a little arrow that shows you how you stamp. So you put your main color first and then your outline next. I am going to use some leaves around 
and um, this has a little bitty ladybug, so I think I'll probably use that too. The black stamping polish I'm using is Brave Steve Nail Polish on the black. I have red, hit the bottle, drop dead gorgeous, drop red gorgeous, I always do that. Calypso Gold, and I Dream of Greeny. But then I am going to actually take off that half. and put it here. Beautiful pickup. The puppy is playing with the water bottle. You can hear her out there crushing the water bottle. This butterfly here. Cool. All right, first I'm going to stamp, I think, some of these leaves. And then we're going to layer the ladybug. Drop red gorgeous. Pick that up. So I decided to do this rose down here and just a quick reverse stamp. Picked it up in the gold and just taking a brush. And since my polish is already green, uh, I did paint a couple of leaves so that they would be just a different green. And just fill in that rose with the red and let it dry. Look how pretty that is. love this stamper. Um, with it having such a short base, it is super easy to see through. Um, it does actually magnify somewhat. When you pull it away, you can see. So it's really nice for placement. Um, I have a bit of a depth of perception problem when it comes to placing these stamps sometimes, doing the layering. Um, so this helped awesome. I love this stamper. So glad I got this. And guess what? Ah, it's at Walmart. 
<laughs> now I've already lost the I've already lost the bottom. Where to put it? Found it. for joining me you guys uh, stay tuned to see everyone else's manis and their links will be below um give me a thumbs up subscribe follow me on instagram and facebook at guideline 325 bye fly little butterfly fly So, here is, I'm heading home. Deer are crazy out here. Crazy. Whole herd of them destroying a field. Thankfully, it's not planted yet, but that's what they do. Augie, sit. Sit. Augie. Hey, sit. We got open door. Loose leash. Good boy. Huggy come. Good boy. Huggy sit. Good boy. That's not a complete total sit, but you know. No, no. Huggy sit. Huggy sit. Good girl. Sit. Good boy. No, no. Okay, I'll get come. No. Penny, you want to take her over to Aunt Lori's? Uh -huh. Uh -huh.